All right, and we are back live on air. Live, Maze, and in three dimensions. It is good to see Adala this time come with an elastoplast and not a bandage. Adala. There is Adala. Adala is back. He's, He's back. Yeah. He's with an elastoplast and not a bandage. Next front, we just followed by. Protocol was observed. Was observed. Followed by Wambua. Um, K KPA, I don't think they use Wambua enough. He's a very knockdown shooter. Wambua is, I think, one of the best shooters. Point guard, Lennox Wanje. Born, brought up in Mombasa. Mo he is Mombasa bred. An amazing story. So he signed for KPA. The first time he was getting garbage minutes. Went down, played for Coastal Kings. Established himself as a point guard in the Division 1. Top notch. Then he came back for KP and he started playing. Gary Wekesa, Omuga, and Toby. Salim Kisilu played in Uganda, played in Burundi, a superstar in those areas. It's good to have him back in the Kenyan Premier League. And a very solid game against Ikuti Dumas. Dolph. I still feel like Dolph is a bit held back. The coaches need to unleash him. Dolph is a beast. He is a beast. One on one, very few people can guard that guy. It's good to see also Aidara back with an elastoplast and not a bandage. The evergreen Joe Byron. Joe Byron. That guy is a vampire. Yes. Joe Byron is a vampire. Doesn't grow old. Aging backwards. He's aging backward. He's playing better than he was playing for aviation. He's at his peak right now. <laughs> yeah, right now he's at his peak. Finally, winding up the lineup is Grand Sivachi, the defensive juggernaut. Interesting fact, Brian Sivachi was my captain in Uganda. <laughs> I played with him in Mumbai University. Hey bro, so uh, right now he's still playing and I'm commentating with you. What happened to you? <laughs> As the lineup comes in, we have DJ Olan, Garan Ding, Dismas Di Matteo, Ayel Okal, the journeyman. Listen, we need to do some research. I don't think there's any player in the Premier League who has played for more teams than Okal. We said it here, Okal is the only Kenyan player to have played in a league in Budapest. <laughs> he went to Budapest. I thought, and won. I thought in like Budapest they only have monks. You know, what were uh, Buddha. Oh, oh, oh my basketball. god. Fahim Juma with the new hairstyle. The new hairstyle. Oh my god. Fahim Juma. Fahim that hairstyle. <laughs> Blondie. Should we call him Blondie? <laughs> Fahim Blondie Juma. Fahim Blondie Juma. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha Blondie. <laughs> Alpha Blondie. Fidel Okot, formerly of Strathmore and played in Uganda, back in Kenya. He also played in Qatar. James, James C. Mwangi. Ladies and gentlemen, to all of our fans tuning in from all around the world, I know. Shout out to Royal Prince, you're tuning in live from, from the States. We are in for a treat. Let's pay respects for our national anthem.
the life. Now we see right. all the dignitaries. We have uh, the people who I know. We have our team manager, uh, Maxine Kushla. Uh, the guy second to last, he was the former team manager for KPA for so many years. We called him Christopher Witt, AK Magic. And for the rest of the guys, I have no idea who they are. <laughs> but you know they are dignitaries. Yes, because they are the ones who have been chosen to say hi to people. So. <laughs> Maria had fallen one we could also say hi. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> because they are the ones who are making our fans in Kisumu. Uh, Doret, uh, Masabit, Mandera, Mombasa, Mombasa, Malindi, Lamu, and all over the world. Kitui. Kitui. We have fans in Kitui. <laughs> you have said in Mandera. Uh, Mandera. We have fans in Mandera. And then... Oh, this is not radio. <laughs> this is not radio. This is live this broadcast. Is live broadcast. Videos. Live videos. As it happens. So, uh, uh, People get the highlights from our... Yes. They, they have to get highlights from us. From our stream. Yes. And that is how they can get their content. Yes. And you know, we are we appreciate what they do. We and are, for all those who are criticizing us, we also say that is what we want. And as we long as basketball it. grows. We want to grow this game. We will correct this. Into this game. So into this game, I, I wanted to ask you a quick question. Ask me. What do you think will be the keys to victory for KPA? KPA need to clamp down defensively, number one. What they did against Equity, their defense won them the game. Hard grit. Thunder, they are known to struggle against physical defenses. So we expect, so we expect KPA to play a very physical defense against Thunder. That's what I would expect from them. And then, you see, with Thunder, you have no margin for error. You have to play them for 40 minutes because their bench is deep. The person who's coming off the bench is just as good as the person who's starting. Okay. So, so you, so you don't have that luxury of saying, you know what, when they play their bench, I will also play my bench. No, you have to play them for 40 minutes. Yes. You can't afford to take your foot off the pedal at any given moment. If KPA want to win, they have to play this game for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. And uh, also interesting that uh, Tanda will not be having Albert Kenya Airways uh, Odero. So, if I was KPA, you see, because since Odero came in, into Tanda, you see most of the offense it somehow revolves around him, yes. kind of. Well, they have plays that they run that are awesome. But when worst case scenario, the ball just give it to Albert and he do something. So now that they don't have that option and they have been revolving their play around him, it will be interesting to see. You see now we have Fahim back into the starting lineup because Albert Odero is not there. Fahim Alpha Blondi Juma. Fahim Alpha Blondi Juma. And uh, for Nairobi City Thunder, what are the keys to victory for them? Be aggressive on the offensive side. Listen, Thunder, they are a team. They play defense, but they play offense better. For Thunder, if the offense is not working, the whole game is out of sync. For a team like APA, if the offense is not working, they play defense. So Thunder need to be clinical in how they are finishing, because they have three games left. Today they are playing against KPA, tomorrow they are playing against KU, and they have one game left, and then they are done with their regular season fixtures. Yes. You know, so now we are approaching the playoffs, so Thunder really need to be very clean with how they finish. We have, so we see the starting lineup of Fahim, Griff, Atega, Garam. Okal and Garam. Which to me, you see, so Okal is the only post player, Fahim is a stretch four. And uh, Garam Ding, he plays outside. And uh, Otega, a knockdown shooter. Don't let him get going. I would, I would rather match Ariel Otega put the ball on the floor and make a play inside the paint as opposed to letting him shoot trees. Yeah. He's a certified killer. Certified killer. Catch and shoot. Listen, it's, if he, it's just that he never played for Lindsay, otherwise he would have been a sniper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's one thing you told us in Mombasa. Yeah. I didn't hear you mention it here today. What? Uh, this game, 
uh, always boils down to the best defensive team against the best offensive team. Uh -huh. So that is what we are in for tonight. And we are hoping that the players are going to give us a show. I think they share their identity is defense. Standard their identity is offense. So if both teams, if they live up to their identities, then we, as, as fans, we're in for a good game. So for KPA we have so for KPA we have Toby. Now this is a very interesting. This is something very interesting. Uh, normally, for the whole season, Lennox Wanja has been the starting point guard, but today we have Toby starting. Adara, Adolf, Salim, and Frank Wijas. Salim Jima with the hairdo seems to be doing him good. As he gets off to the quick three, Frank Wichas the kick out, Dolph looking for the reply, misses everything. Griffin Bigare controls about the Evergreen, Griffin Bigare puts up the pace. Fahim Juma out to area local, back to Fahim. Area Ortega left wide open, and he gets it to go. I told you, you can't leave that man open. Leave everyone else open, but not area. Atega. Five with a steal. Oh my god. Five misses. Okal with the rebound. It gets stripped. Dolph to Toby. Tries to shuffle past five with a steal. And again starting. Hazel Agina made a call. That was supposed to be Jazz. You see, with referees, when you're making a call, you need to be in position. That call was supposed to be Jazz, the 12 referee. You see the line. Ezra Lagina was supposed to be underneath the rim. Area local with the miss from the three points as Toby brings it up, calls for a play. He's calling for horns, which is a double high pick. Frank Wijas with the handoff to Salim Kisilu. Salim Kisilu, Frank Wujas with the jumper. He doesn't get it to go. Last touch, Fahim Juma. KPA have the possession. Man. Thunder jump out to a quick 6 0 lead. Toby with the miss. And KPA just need to uh, calm down and relax. And take whatever the defense is giving them. Take whatever the defense is giving you. Not to force issues. Do not force issues. Gun being with the steal of the inbound. Griffin Ligare, Salim breaks up the play. Or supposed to be an alley for Gun Ding. And Salim read the play. He read the play very well. Very well. He knew exactly what Griffin was doing. And that was amazing defense because he, he was in a two in one situation and he managed to get the stop. So shout out to Salim Kisili for that. Salim Kisilu, former player in Uganda and Burundi, now he has come back to KPA. Born and brought up in Mombasa. Ball out to Griffin Ligare, formerly of Kenyatta University. Ariel Otega called for the walk. Griffin Ligare, one of the players who have been loyal to one team for so many years. He has been loyal to only two Since teams. He was, in, from he, was, he was in KU because he was studying there. And he has only played for one team after that. 25 well, years. Well, well, he tried to play for KPA, but it didn't work out. Also tried to play for Cop Bank, and it didn't work out. Yes. So. Then he retained his identity with Tanda. Toby with the miss. I, Frank Wijas with the big rebound. Back out to Toby. And, and uh, Frank Wijas is playing against his former team. His former team. He played with them for half a season. Then... I don't know the ground, I don't know why. The run being with an open three. And he gets it to drop. Oh my god. Thunder has a huge fan base. All of a sudden. And wow. I'm expecting all the fans in Mombasa to be on our live right now. All the fans in Mombasa rally behind KPA. Rally behind Join KPA. our live. Share your comments. We will try to read as many as possible. I think this this has been the loudest I've had this arena in a very long time. 
the gym is fully packed. Well, the last time we had this, the last time we had this arena this loud, it was uh, last week. Here. Here. AKA Battle of the Bandages. <laughs> Thank God so far, no bandages. No bandages so far. We have a sold out arena. The guys at the gate have been very busy. Very busy. The normal seats are full. VIP, VIP seats, seats are full. I don't know we, where they we, we even have a celebrity now. <laughs> and it's full. <laughs> Pato Wodehuma, aka Adala, he tried to go down to get some fun sponsors and statistics. He said it's too crazy down there. If you're in Nairobi, make your way to Nyayo National Stadium to come and watch the game. If you cannot, log on to Foul and One on YouTube and you'll get the game live as it happens. Evergreen Job Byron comes off the bench early. Job Byron. AKA the Vampire. Empty pass, short club goes back to 14. And it's a very interesting matchup between Eri Okal and uh, Abdullahi Haidar. Abdullahi Haidar. Oh, Byron. Joe Byron off the bench with a big basket. As expected. Totally. Eri Okal very offensive, Haidar very defensive. So it's going to be very. Eh, Interesting to watch. And just like that, Eri Okal winning the battle. Okal, he won the battle. Let's see who wins the war. It's a big difference between a battle and a war. Yes. Attacking aggressively. But that is a wild, erratic shot. Garang brings it up. Toby with a deflection. Ball remains with KP. And Toby is also a pest on defense. Very, very hard worker. Toby and Lennox. Very hard working player on the defensive end. Captain Griffin Ligare. What do you expect from Griffin tonight? I expect what I expect from every night. Just let the game come to him. Fahim with the miss. Jobu with an questionable Big move by Dolph. He gets a car to jump in the air. Dolph with the Euro step. That was definitely a Euro step. You know, the people here would do Mombasa Road steps, but that one, that was the Euro that step. step. Not the River Road step. Not the River Road step. <laughs> Not the Gikomba step. That was the real Euro step. He got a call to jump. And he got the easy two. That was hell of a play. I always Dolph. thought, in my head, I've always imagined Dolph as being the person to take over from uh, Griffins. Because same school, same style of play, offensive player. I hope that also he... Also very disciplined. Very disciplined. Uh, he never complains, never talks, never shouts. Uh, Muga with the pass. Joe Byron comes off the bench. And he has two quick buckets along with Dolph. And just and, like that, the game And KP a have a... They have a fan base here in Nairobi. You see, listen, uh, Roba, here we have a saying, yeah? The friend of my enemy is my friend. Yes. Half of the people who are supporting KPA, there are people who want Thunder to lose. There are people who Thunder has beat their team mercilessly. Yes. And so are some of the people who are screaming. There are people from Strathmore. Yes, <laughs> Equity Bank. People from Equity Bank. They all screaming against Thunder. Friend of my enemy is my friend. Yes. Oh, no, rather it's the enemy of my enemy is it's my friend. friend. I'm sure if our cameraman was to look at the fans. You see the people who are screaming. The old people who, whose teams have been beaten mercilessly. My Thunder. My Thunder. And Nairobi City Thunder we still have the Cinderella And uh, we are hoping that they are going to keep it up. Uh, right now, on top of the favorites, KP, of course, the underdogs. And we are hoping that. They are, they are gaining the momentum to go into the playoffs and possibly winning the the league and representing the country in the ball. in the ball uh, competition. Now, Kennedy Washira. Kennedy Washira is checking in. 
He's going to play against his former team. Former employers. James Mwangi won for some point play for KPA. One with KPA. Yes. James Mwangi won with KPA. If he has won with KPA, he has won with Ulinzi. James Mwiruri. Asante sana, James Mwiruri. Uh, guys, continue supporting Paul on the one. <laughs> Number Yakakitu in Koapo. Asante sana, James Mwiruri. We appreciate your big message. Uh, our Mpesa number is on the right, is on the left side of the screen. Job on the handoff to Muga. Muga with a foul line jumper. He misses it. And Thunder are able to control it. Toby putting pressure on Garan Bing. Oh, 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 oh. 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 He put Toby on skates. <laughs> Toby was... Toby was on skates. Toby, was... Toby was half a second away. He was on his head. He needed a map. I'm telling you, this time around, he would have needed a bandage without being hit. <laughs> maybe it's the concussion. Okay, maybe. Let's blame it on that. Griffin Ligare bring it up against Dolph. Former KU against former KU. James Mwangi with the pass. Can James Mwangi also. Former. Former. So quick. James Mwangi was blocked clean. That was a clean block. James Mwangi, uh, you're my friend, but boy, you got blocked. Met him at the summit. He met him at the summit and told him, not in my house. Go and look for your own dream to play with, boy. <laughs> James Mwangi, if you noticed his social media, building Eve, he was wearing a full kanzu, all in the of getting free pilau. <laughs> 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 James Mwangi. He got free pilau and he's still complaining I'm about avocados. I'm wondering what that ritual of his is. He's dancing. It's a very questionable ritual which is getting the fans to go crazy. <laughs> James and they miss his boat. Because of his weird dancing ritual. Those attacking kick out. Job Byron. He, he misses the hole and jump up. Ryan is in. <laughs> He's in and already he, he has put someone to the, uh, to the ground. Garan Bing attacking, scoring. And also interesting to see the matchup between Brian Sibachi and uh, Fidel Okot. Bald men. Uh, ask bald men who are just chilling. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> leave the bald men out of this conversation. Let's, let's focus on basketball. Oi! That was a goal turn with the referee's call it as such. Joe Byron. Joe Byron with a quick six points out of KPS 8. JMC looking to put the moves on Joe Byron. Fun fact. Joe Byron and JMC Mwang, you are teammates at Cooperative, yes. also at Aviation. Also at Aviation? Yes. I thought James Mwangi was a former J Court. He played for aviation. Before he went to cooperative, he was at aviation. You can check it up. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> I have history on my fingertips. Today, the coach of the line. And that's why we have you here for the history of the game. Thank you, sir. Today, the coach. Toby out, Lennox Wanji in, Don brought up in Mombasa, KPA product through and through, scores are 58 with 336 to play and counting. Lennox Wanji trying to do too much, almost turns it over, he rushes out to Dolph, Dolph trying to put the moves, goes the foul to Fidel Okot, and Dolph will go to the line to shoot two. Dolph. Dolph, as he said, uh, has to be unlocked. He needs to be allowed to play his game. He needs to decide to play. He needs to say, you know what, coach? You call your plays, but, I'll, but at times I will do whatever I see is fit. Dolph gets the first free throw to drop. Now, against Ulinzi, free throws were a huge issue. Free throws were, were a huge issue for KPA. 
Dolph gets both of them to drop. Dolph against Ulinzi, he missed quite a number of free throws. Yes, uh, and it's nice to see him get them both to drop. This must be Matteo just checked in. Very another good. another uh, player who slept on a lot. Yeah, but I don't know what he can do. Don't with the steel. Don't look into push. Awesome pass. Awesome pass by Dolph. Amazing pass by Dolph. The Byron is fouled. The referee calls it a side ball as he wasn't in the act of shooting yet. And uh, Dolph, as he said, mirror image of Griffin Ligari. Whenever I see Dolph play, I see shadows of Griffin Ligari. Definitely tell you it's Griffin Ligari. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the referees, they need to be more aware of giving the one meter a distance. Ball out to Muga. Uh, Muga will not hesitate to shoot. He comes up short. He gets with the rebound. He goes to Ken Washira. Ken Washira. Out to Ulysses. Out to Di Matteo. Wants to push, decides to pull up the three. Bad decision because Joe Byron, he was flashing, he was diving <laughs> under the basket, which leads to Dolph taking the unnecessary foul. That was a very bad decision by Lennox Wanjo. This must be Batero, brings it up. Dima goes for a play handoff to Jemo. Jemo looking for options. Ball up to Fidel. They're looking to put the moves, and it's almost stolen. The referee calls a jumbo. Questionable call. I thought that one was a travel. Was a travel. Uh, but our in quotes international referee calls it a jumbo. Uh, we saw. Nicholas Mwaniki, Asante Sana. Ujumbe zimeanza kuingia tunamu. Kwa shukuru na zizidi kukuja. Zizidi kukuja tunamuweza kulipia equipment. Kulipia hii live team. Almost a steal by Washira. Gary Wekesa in for the first time. Gary Wekesa also another player who slept on. He was a huge part of them winning the championship last season. But under coach Cliff, he seems to be getting zero minutes. Muga with the jumper misses badly. James with the rebound. A quick pass to Fidel. And Fidel misses. James with the hustle play. With the rebound, quick pass. With the hustle play. Hustle. Hustle play from James Mwani. James Mwani also in his 20th season. He's playing now, but he normally feels the pain later on at night. Feel the pain later. Yes, that's why I first saw him play again with Jake Watt. And when he came into aviation, he started to blossom. And then T9 spotted him and called him into cooperative. Nice, nice defensive play by Lennox Wanje. He misses. Rebound put back by Muga. Was that a pass? That was an intentional pass. No, that was not an intentional pass. That was a miss. Lennox Wanje seems to be giving the run being some problems. Lennox Wanje, a real pest on defense. He there with the foul and jumper, gets it to go. The batch needs to close him out, force him to make a play. The, the battle of play. the bald men. Bald men are just chilling. Today, Lecoq won that time. Lennox Wanjo with a big three. And scores a 15-19. Again, Fidel versus Brian Sivachi. He does that time, he misses. Last touch, Gary Wekesa. Mm -hmm. 
ball inbound Gagaran Ding to Dima. Dima to Kennedy Washira with a quick trigger. Joe Byron with a huge rebound. Lennox back to Joe Byron. Joe Byron to Lennox. Nice entry pass. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Joe Byron! Now listen, something, something very funny. Joe Byron and Jemo. We have had, you know, it's the same way with against Equity and KPA ladies, Celine and Betty, Joe Byron and James Mwangi. They love competing against each other and their friends, they have banter. They talk to each other after the game. So in that particular battle, Joe Byron comes up on top with a big foul and one. Joe Byron has been the difference maker in this first quarter for KPA. Big, big difference maker. I think he has eight or ten points. Ah, he got his free throw to drop. Finishes the old fashion free throw play. Last game, Joe Byron was struggling at the line. Yes. Today he's getting his free throws to drop. Thunder are in for a problem. Today look at the handoff fake. Second handoff to Dismas. Lennox. Uh, that was a basket. That High was top. a foul in a basket. By Garandu. I think it was a basket. No, the um, the referee says the, the foul, foul was before the basket. He was still uh, on that play. So Hazel, again, uh, she waves off the basket and says the foul was before the basket. However, I thought Garanding got away with a push-off. Should have been an offensive foul. But hey, the referee's confusion is always final. Garanding out to Dima. Dima with the three. And he gets it to drop. Dima might be telling the coach, as the Mateo with all Shaurimoyo boys. Now we need to play. We see the Shaurimoyo massive here out in full attendance. And they were celebrating the basket by Dima, one of their own. One of their own. One of the guys who has come up through the Shaurimoyo system. Big shout out to Shaurimoyo and all the basketball that goes on there. Akina Uchi, Akina Jabush, big up to them. Big up to Coach Jabush. Coach uh, Mika, Babsi, <laughs> former KCB, KCB player, Coach Babsi. Yeah. Those guys are doing an amazing job in Shaurimoyo. You can see all the kids are out here, cheering on the favorite players. As you see, Bobby J, Bob Lings over there, he's the very, point good. very happy with being a fan, with, uh, point good, point good. with some beverages in his hand. He's very happy and enjoying himself. All right, this has been one crack of a first half. KP have come to play. Scores are 18-22. And we'll be back shortly with the second quarter of this game. Man, it's only been the first quarter and it's this late. It's only been the first quarter. Uh, looks like it's going to be a high scoring game. As the fans, that, that, that's what we hope for. That is what we want, we want nothing less. And the dunks should come to All the highlights.
kwenda kama wewe leo majuto mimi ni studio nimetafutia pia wanarudi Mombasa Gari la pesa with the best line jumper just like that it's a six point game formerly of aviation and cooperative bank he had two amazing coaches in Ben Olive and Kari Odiambo we have Kari Odiambo in the studio with us a silent observer big shout out to coach T9 as Garang Ding gets called on the fence to on Lennox Wanji Lennox Wanji is really frustrating Garang Ding Garang Ding is out of his game Lennox Wanji is being a pest on defense and that's what you want Scores at 22-25, favor Thunder, 8 or 4 to go. Joe Byron, Adala with the jumper, he misses, the ball coming on the rebound. Fahim Juma with the new hairdo, brings the ball up. He's now to Griffin Ligare, Griffin Ligare is attacking. Post up to Garang Bing, the Garang Bing. Very okay with the foul line jumper. Nice play by Garang. Wet like the Nyandaro weather. <laughs> Lennox Wanji with the questionable shot. Nice hustle play by Wambua. That's a foul on Eri Ortega. Of which he had already killed his dribble, so he should have just pressed the ball and played good defense. Steve Mamba Wekesa, SWM, I hope you are watching this game. You are predicted that KPA win. Steve well, Mamba Wekesa, man. Shout out to Steve, man. Big fan of ours. Big fan of KPA. Uh, Adala uh, with the travel. So far, Adala hasn't been able to settle into the game. Mostly by Adala, Joe Byron, Rokal, Ariel Ortega with the three. Don't give that man breathing space. If he's breathing, he can shoot it. Dr. Aru, SG, South Sudan uh, Basketball Federation, Apple Live. Uh, Thank you so much, Aru. We love what you're doing in South Sudan. Uh, we are proud to say that you're one of our own. You have been in Kenya for so long. You are Kenyan as much as you are South Sudanese. That is Ariel Ortega and as Juma is saying he has ice in his veins. He has ice in his veins. As Coach 
which Cliff has seen enough because that's why I'm not going to lose back to back trees. Big shout out to Haru. Big shout out to Haru. And we love to see you know, people making a difference in basketball and Haru. We're definitely making a difence. We'd love to host you and call and one for one of our podcasts. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. to come and share your stories. We, we are still we are still uh, working on that with him. Haru played for Gugliosayu for six years, went to Kampala as he was doing his, his PhD and he played there for, for the Oilers, came back to Kenya and he's doing big things. So we, big things. we celebrate you, Haru. Sansana Haru, Daktari Haru. Actually, he was in the, he was watching the game uh, last weekend, he was here live. He was live. So, so Haru, big up, Sana. Wow. We, uh, we were also with Aru in the Mountain Stars uh, basketball tournament in yes. Kasarani. Okay. Of course, supporting the, South Sudan the future bright stars of South Sudan. Yes. It was uh, amazing to see him there. Yeah. And just like that, Thunder have blown it up into a double digit lead with two quick back to back threes by Fahim and Atega. The leaders balloon into. Yes. 627 to Also, uh, the, all our fans, remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, tell a friend, tell a friend to follow Fall and One. And to support us. Support us. Our MPSA number is right there. Or to support us with your comments, ideas, with your critiques. All the feedback, uh, if you are criticizing, positive, negative, to Nakubali. And that is, uh, that is who we are. Yeah, that is who we are. Adala almost trapped in Salim Kisilu with a, and a pressure shot. He misses everything. Garang Ding brings the ball up. Big Gado closed in by Lennox Wanje. Passes to Griffin Ligaro. Griffin carry out to Fahim Juma. Fahim Juma uh, to Garang Ding. Big Gado closed in by... Taking advantage of that matchup. Finally, Gandhi gets a basket. He goes to the two small. He tells Lennox Wanje, You are too small. Forgetting that Lennox Wanje has caused him to make three turnovers. So actually, the scores are three to one. But hey, everybody has his moment. Dolph with the erratic pass. He's turning for Adala, but he doesn't get it. Dolph guarding a grievance with a full court pressure. Student against master. KU against KU. KU against KU. KU. Lennox Wanje now on aerial. Otega. Salim Kisili and Garang D. These are some good matchups. They appear they need to get the offense to work. Thunder versus Ulinzi Finals. Of the court, but then the second half, 
and this is the point he was making. He was perfect on this other side. So, I don't know. It was maybe, that a case of, uh, maybe, maybe uh, this is the side where, where, where they practice in this court. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah, they practice in this court. So, maybe that could be a reason. Yeah. Then, let's wait for the second half. Sam Pisilu, Brad, Brad, Look at Coach Brad. Look at Coach Brad. Coach Brad now. He's almost done it. This is the first time I've seen him get into to the referees. Normally, he's very calm. He's very calm, yes. But it's the first time I've seen him talk to the referees. He knows. He, he knows. knows he's at this game. The high stakes game. It's a high stakes game. He said something. He, 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 said, he says, to be the champion, you have to beat the champion. And they appear the time defending champions. So, to go to the champions, you have to go through the champions. Byron, yeah, the ball is deflected. I thought that that was supposed to be a clear ball, but the referee is told otherwise. Arus, uh, Ramadan, of course, I'm at Wambia Tranel and crew. Good job, Majama. Streaming all the way from Cuba, keep it up. 100%. Aru, our Dr. Aru Ramadan Chan. Martin Kitongo. Uh, from KPA PR, Natufuata Pole Pole. So we expect to see Martin back now that the national games are over. We all know that Martin is the coach of Balame. He was involved in the nationals. Bato is he one of the few back to back if he can play with his back to the basket. Well, the foul with the free to play. He goes to the top of one end and he gets the, the basket and the foul. The other end. The challenge. Anyway, the foul he plays to the fans. And he needs this energy place for him to survive. And that is what we have known. I think he has played for more than 12 teams, if I'm not mistaken, or more. But 12 teams in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> more than 12 outside Kenya. <laughs> as if, as as if as the, the only country has not been too bad is uh, Swaziland. I think he also hasn't played in Russia. In Russia. Yes. Buy a bucket right now. 
They need to stop the bleeding. Oh, in and out. That ball was halfway inside the room. Let me tell you, the fans were almost jumping onto the court. Just that we have one camera. Support for only one, give us three or four cameras. We need three or four cameras. cameras. All angles. Griffin again. Griffin Ligare missed a three, came back, had a foul and a basket, and now having a chance to complete the old fashioned three point play. Griffin Ligare with the blue and yellow shoes. That way you do. So you can't say that you do not see him cutting because the at home. As he After Eid and the new hairstyle. Eid and the new hairstyle. Alpha Blondie. Alpha Blondie, aka after he has had the pillow for Eid. Pillow will be the pillow of a card on Eid. Sisi wa Kostu, the pillow of a card. Nasupu. Avukadu ni wa Iyo ni wa Mara. Nasupu. Now we kuji Nasupu. Iyo supu ni wa Kiyambu. Tobi tried to make the moves. He gets the foul. It will be interesting to see how Coach Cliff is going to make adjustments in this game. But they still have a long time to go to halftime. It's 3 to 7 to go. That's a long time, bro. Toby at the long time to complete the 3 point play. And he does. At least. Starting the bleeding. At least with a, with a big 3 point play, and then we're down by 20. He cuts the lead down to 20. To 20 points. Fahim <laughs> Fahim has had a very good game so far. An unnecessary foul by Tanda. Very unnecessary. You're up by 20 points. We want 100 likes. <coughs> We want a hundred likes on our live stream. Can we get to a hundred likes? Please. Uh, give us a hundred likes. I got a big rebound. And it's based on the boards. Very good defensive player. Very good. Because Bilai Haidar. Griffin takes that fall, although I don't know that it's his fault. But he just takes one for the team. He brings the factor. Both teams are. Now, I don't have any struggle for the line. Breaking the first free throw. I think we must be building a someone's quarters. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Frank, we just, just checked in. Very unlucky today. So we just tried that. I don't know Toby with the deep three. And he gets it to go. Toby is also saying he has eyes in his veins. Cutting the lead down to... <laughs> Cutting the lead down to 18. To 18. <laughs> and he has eyes in his veins. <laughs> I think the I think eyes has melted at this point. Let's see whether the food is there. Fine, fine, fine with the turnover. I think it is the glare of the light of his hair. It's, it's blending his eyes. It's affecting him. It's affecting his eyes. Shout out to Fine. Fine, uh, we love you. You are, you are a family. 
Shouty Moyo, 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 Shouty If it was a machine, I would have shot it. You did it? Yeah, I was. Now, that was not a better use by the I'm following statistic. Whenever briefing dribbles to his left, he's going for the pull-up shots. Whenever he's dribbling to his right, he's going for the drive. That's a fun fact. Uh, oh, are you telling coaches? I'm telling whoever is listening. He said, I wish coaches would watch these games and watch the film and use it. Yes, it's, it's there. The it's there. It's there for everyone to watch. And we, well, as long as you have bad weather, And we are not doing radio. This is live. live. This is live. We are not uh, telling you. We are showing you. We are showing you. And that's the and difference between it. us and other YouTubers. <laughs> well, for example, when I was saying about Byron yesterday, I told you it will happen and it happened. I'm telling you about Griffin, it will happen and uh, you will see it. Ruda with a running floater, this will be done for the team. Nice hands up here by Frank Rogers. I'll take care of Shira. Piano Shira with a three, I'll take care of Shira with a three. I'll take care of Shira with a three. As long as the ball is hard, he will shoot. Ruda also. You don't think twice about it. And if Buga can get it going, I think uh, he could be the difference maker in this game. So far, he hasn't gotten going this whole season. Uh, I don't know, maybe we expect him to do that. He's warming up for the playoffs. Let me just take a look at him. Let me just take a look at him. Oh! Yeah, he's not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And he was here in the booth. Yes. He was telling us uh, yeah, that is what we are going to expect today. So Fai is really happy. You know, Fai is really playing the game in the street. Albert O'Neill is in the team. And he's proving that he can still play. Yeah. And that's scary, knowing that you have somebody like Fai and Albert play the same position on the same team. Going into the playoffs, that's scary. That is very scary. And I'm sure uh, Coach Brad being assisted by Coach Gaia are going to clear up the event. Well, scores are 30 49. Yeah, the time. And the second half will be brought to you live by 401. Um, listen, uh, just whatever you are, tell a friend, tell a friend, tune in live, whatever, whichever part of Kenya you are. As long as you can access YouTube, the game is here for you to watch. Feel the presence.
and we are back live. Statistics. Oh my god. And, uh, so far, even as I look at the statistics, I'm seeing KP are struggling with the conversion because they have had enough possessions. Yeah. But they're just not converting. They are breaking uh, their boys. For example, field goals. They appear 18 of 42. Thunder uh, 18 of 42, KP at 12 of 37. And uh, I think uh, Joe Byron is leading one scorers with 11. Uh, Nairobi City Thunder up for him with 9, leading one scorers. But I think, you know, as a coach, once you find out what is working for you, you stick to that. Don't change it. We have a say. If it's not broken, do not fix it. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Whatever was working with Joe Biden, I wonder why they went. I mean, uh, listen, if, if KP have any chance of winning, by the end of this quarter, they need to be down in Sequel. If they stand any chance of winning. Man, just a big shout out to all the fans who have turned up at Nyayo to watch this game. Nyayo is sold out. It's lit. Music, the vibes are just crazy. So a huge shout out to everyone who has turned up. Also a big shout out to all the players who take time to invest in their shoe game. You know, this is a big game and the players, they have turned up with the shoe game. Turning up, man. Shoe game is on point. You know? Uh, uh, who do you think has the best sneakers tonight? Ooh. Uh, no. I know. Driven Ligare, he, he's a bright. No, it's between Griffin and Eri Ortega. Eri Ortega, Fahim Juma, Aydara. They are really wearing awesome shoes. Anyway, we are back. The AP started off with a miss. And it, that is the third time he's being called for a travel. You see, and I always say, you see, if players would scout, Eric Ortega ran him off the three point line, forced him to put the ball on the ground and make a play. Anytime he puts the ball on the ground, his efficiency level drops. Yes. Joe Byron to Salim. Oh, Salim, he lost the handle on his way up. He should have scored that, but on the way up, he lost the handle. Those are two easy misses by Joe Jeffy. Byron. Yeah. So, uh, Who's leading one scorer? No, so the second one was by Salim Kisili. He, he like, missed the layup point blank range. He lost the Big crossover by Galan B. He couldn't make it happen. Fine with the contested three, which leads into an air ball. Dolph inbounds to Toby. Toby back to Dolph. To Salim Kisilu. Pass to Aydara into Joe Byron. Toby with a quick catch and shoot. Doesn't get it to go. Aaron O'Carl with a big rebound. He plucks it off like you know your, how you pluck off a low hanging fruit from a mango tree. Garan Bing with a pull up three. Doesn't get it to go. Aydara with a big rebound. Joe Byron pulls it up. Out to Dolph. Dolph, back to Joe Byron to Salim Kisilu. 
Spannend geht über den Five Step. Oh, Bank sit in. Bank is open on Saturday night. Uh, well, I would love to see him do it again, but hey, hata marabwe ni boba. Ina matumbo ni nyama. That's the turnover, no? No, it was a deflection by Tony. As a manga, hata matumbo ni nyama, see, he knows over butchery. Goes to Toby. Toby gets it to go. Seems to have recovered from his head injury. Yeah, concussion. He's the only player out of the three injured who is not wearing any elastoplast. Fahim. Fahim with a wide open three. Just a Byron jump up. Griffin Ligare in and out again. I think Griffin Ligare, he woke up on the wrong side of his bed. Yeah, the basketball goals are again is beautiful tonight. Fahim with a kick ball showing us his. Football and defending skills. He's sending a shout out to the Rambe stars. Hey. Fahim used to be a, a striker ba, ba, back in his younger days. Yeah. He was well, playing for Shaurimo and Sportif. Well, he just showed us his uh, defending skills. Goes what to an the IQ. Top basket. That's an IQ play. High he IQ. was inbounding, defender not looking at him. He passes the ball to himself. Yeah. I tell you. I wish girls can just be able to play. Fahim with a three. You can drop Salim with a big rebound. It's tapped away. But Salim is able to get it back. Salim can't get it to fall. Last touch for him. Well, I thought it was just by John Byron. <laughs> Actually, uh, Coach, Brad, Coach Brad has just called a, a timeout. Off of that channel. I actually agree with uh, I agree with the Thunder bench. I thought that came out, out of Joe Byron. And Nyayo Gymnasium is fucked. Start the brim. Back to the brim. Shout out to all the fans who have made their way well, to Nyaya tonight. Up, you know, it's very nice to see. Showing their love and support for the game. Big up. Basketball is back. Basketball is back. And, and, it's, and long it's good to see the efforts that have been put in to make sure that you know we have entertaining fixtures. You know, just to keep us blue. Uh, big shout out to Joseph Amoko. The fixtures secretary. I think he has done a great job with your fixtures, uh, at least for, for this second half of the leg. Of the, of the leg. Yeah. Trying to be considerate and to make sure that you know, the games are time when everybody is free, people are, are not at work, are not at church, people can actually just come and watch the game. And that is why we say if you criticize someone loudly, also appreciate when the same person is doing something good. Loudly. Loudly. Look, I said this here yesterday, I'll say it again. KBF may not be where we want, want it to be, be yeah. but it is not all about there are at least some things they're doing that they're trying to be right. Yes, they are, they are, they are really trying. And when they do wrong, we will call it out. We will call, call it out. out. We will say that this is wrong. And when they do right, we don't say, we this, say is this is right. Back to the game. Job with a oh. uh, basket and a foul. Joe oh, Byron. Joe Byron. Evergreen. A. The a. vampire a. himself. A. The vampire. You remember, Joe Byron played for aviation, also played for Cooperative Bank. Very interesting, man. You know, you know uh, they talk about LeBron James yeah. uh, playing 21 seasons yeah. in the NBA. Yeah. Nobody talks about our players here in Kenya. We have some players who have had careers that have spanned more than 25 years. And they're still doing it at a very high level. Oh, Kenya with the look out. Bad defense by Dolph. You should have realized where the person is. That was a very good pass from uh, Garandin. 
KP had the chance to cut it down to nine, but now they find themselves down by 13. What a pass from Salim. Salim Kisidu, he understands the game at a high level. He's another player who I hope is unleashed and just allowed to play. In and out. That is a handoff from one area to another area. <laughs> now, Sasa Unajua, see that it's easy. We have moved to smart TVs. We no longer use aerials. We don't use aerials. We don't use aerials. We don't use aerials. At your own. Here we go. Good recovery play by Toby. And a turnover by Toby. Oh my God. He's like, I took it from here and I'm giving it back to you. I'm giving it back to you. Comments is asking yeah. who is the coach with the loud claps. The claps are being felt at Aqualife. Hey, listen, I told you there are things that are consistent. Okay? Byron Mabonga's reverse pivot. He yes. always do the reverse pivot. That one is consistent. Coach Gaia's claps. That will always be consistent. What about tracks <laughs> and death? Tracks and death also consistent. Oh, very consistent. <laughs> Listen, no matter how loud, how loud this gym is, you will always hear Coach Gaia's claps. <laughs> Even if the music was on, you will hear the claps. That guy, he needs to join or oh, Legend Maria. As Elenox with the three misses, and has to play by Dolph. Salim Kisiri with the three, misses it. Again, drop. Oh! Oh, the vampire! Job Byron! Oh Taking matters into his, his own hands. Oh my god. And just like that, KP had cut it down into a single digit lead. What a play for Job. Understanding that. Uh, the referee wants it to play. And on the call with the miss. Salim Kisil with the rebound. Outlet to Dolph. Is Ariel Kala a certified three point shooter? No. Job Byron! Brad is taking over, over the game. The timeout, but he already called the timeout. So now he can't call another timeout. But Brad is fuming. He brings it down to a seven point game. James Simwangi with the travel. Oh, I thought he was fouled on that play. Maybe the travel came before the foul. 44 51. The PS cut it down to a seven point game. Courtesy of Job Byron. The evergreen vampire. <laughs> Comes this must be Matteo. And Salim Kisiri goes out, in comes Muga. Ken Ashira, basketball goal. Ken Ashira will shoot any time, all the time. He will not think twice. Joe Byron, out to Dolph, and the play. Muga, another player will shoot without thinking twice. Dolph, and then of Sanchez, in and out. That ball is halfway in. I think the Santa Fe will disagree. I that told you the in. basketball box. Yeah. Yeah. What a block! Yeah. What a block from Abdullah Aydara! 
That was a true block. Please. No goal, Jay. No yes, goal, Jay. Yes, Mr. Referees, come and watch. Come, come and watch the replays. Yes, Mr. Referees, come to the studio and watch the replay. That was a clean basket. And that was a very good defensive play by Abdullah Haidara. doesn't get it, which leads to, and you see, Roba, that's the problem uh, this day. James Simwaldi, <laughs> we thought he was going to dance or that. <laughs> I was actually expecting him to dance. <laughs> Short clock running down, very local, basketball beat, go viral rebound. Foul of Muda, I just remember foul. End to end action. This is what we can to see here. Yeah. As the fans, now remember I said, if KP have a chance in this game, they need to finish the quarter down to single digits. Yes, if it was not for that bad decision, I know that, I think we would have to bring that. What a basket from uh, Mr. Uh, tough, tough finish. Uh, we know he can do that. Which brother has been sleeping on him? I think he's one of the players who needs more minutes. Oh! Abdullah Yagara! <laughs> With a gorgeous feet by Lennox Wanji and then Throwing the big throw down. This is why we say, Mama, there, there goes, goes that man. man. Ariel Okal made a business a decision. He made a business decision. Ariel yeah. Okal with the answer. Right back at him. Silencing the crowd. Or making the crowd shout more. What a game. Depending on which side. Abdullah <laughs> Haidara. Oh. With Returning the, long the favor. It's now Haidara versus Okal. And as the fans. Okal again. Oi! Oh, almost got it. Eddie Okal versus Abdullah Haidara. Haidara got the block, but the ball went in. Let's see. Men on men. Let's see. A referee, Ezel Agina, has blown a whistle. This is what we came to see. Timeout by KPA. But I'm wondering, a timeout with 41 seconds to go. Uh, what a game in our hands today. Listen, the last minute has turned into Okal versus Aydara. Okal versus Akuna Aydara. Remember Aydara just coming out of that concussion? <laughs> yeah. And he's giving us some very quality minutes. Coach maybe. Cliff must be a very happy man by uh, uh, Maybe he needs to be hitting the head more often. If he'll make him play this good. Yes. He needs to be hitting the head more often. Yes. <laughs> Should that also be another constant? No, no, no. Well, we, well, we never wish injury on a player, but Aidara has come to play. He has come to play. He has come to play. That was a very big dunk. And Yo, most, of the, most of the fans came here to see the dance, the highlights. We've not had none. I think because Albert uh, Odere is not in the game tonight. Could be. But you know, it's good to see it coming from someone else. Yeah, and then also, let's appreciate the defense being played. It shows the defense is tight. Yo, I remember, just a big shout out to all the fans, man. You know, it's amazing. You just look down and you see uh, veterans, legends, current players, old players, young players. It's just amazing to be here. Very nice. This is an amazing time to be alive in Kenya. It's, it's, it's a very, very nice experience. We live alone what some people are talking on, on their faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Even those who are talking, they are not here. They're just talking. This is a good time to be alive. A uh, very, very good time to be alive. As a basketball fan in Kenya, he looks with the three. He misses. Garang Ding comes up with it. Garang pushing. Okal with the Okal with the hammer. We said it. Eri Okal versus Abdullah and Aider. In the last few seconds, oh my God, it's turned into a showdown. Oh, what a play Lennox. from Eri Okal. Then looks with the turnover. The journeyman proving to us. Why he was signed by Nairobi, Nairobi City, City Thunder? Amora Samanga, Atapapamze, 
Abdullahi Haidara. Wanasema hata pa kwa mzee anakunywa maziwa. What a match up. The third ball came off the feet of Dolph. Going to be in Nairobi City Thunderball. Uh, also remember to subscribe to Fall and One. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Nam to make it too. What want to make it too? And support us. What want to support? What want to support? In all manners. Support us with comments. Support us with uh, support us financially. We support us with your feedback. We will appreciate. Uh, Albert Odera is not playing the game today because uh, he got an eject ejection against to Lindsay. Against to Lindsay. So that, that is why he's not playing this game today. An ejection means a suspension for at least one game. And that is why he's you not see, playing today. So, for Albert Odero, it was not a direct ejection. So he suspended for one game. If, if, it, was a, if it was a direct um, um, ejection, it would be two games. Yes. Yes, so, so that was an indirect suspension. So he suspended for one game. All right. Scores are 63-48 in favor of the Red Hot Nairobi City Thunder. And they, are, and they look like they have no signs of slowing down. We'll be back shortly with the fourth and final quarter of this amazing game. And we are back live, back live for the final quarter of this scintillating game. Scintillating game. Scintillating game. Uh, you're, you're, you're in a tongue twister. You're in a party, a vocabulary, say it like you're in a shine next game, sell a sequel. Aerial colors. Aerial colors. Aerial colors just unleash the beast. <laughs> yes, today he's playing like the doctor. You know, he, he goes by many pseudos. Yes. He's a surgeon today. So, we have Errol Okal, we have Okal, we have the beast, we have the surgeon, we have the doctor. The journeyman. <laughs> the journeyman. You don't see the Nigeria. You don't see the Nigeria. Errol has so many characters. Who you know, say, king of pseudo accounts. Joe Byron. With the foul line jumper, he misses it. This must be Mateo. Trying to push the pace, kick out to Okal. Okal is the jumper. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, Ario Okal, former KPA player. Ario Okal. Listen, he won his first championship with KPA in 2014. He was, a, he was a MVP in that year. Did you know that? Yeah, I, I know that. That he won his first championship with KPA in 2014? Yeah, because I was with him in Uganda the following year. <laughs> Again, on a journey. <laughs> journey, man. Uh, he played for Betway Power. Yes, he in did. In 2015. Yes, he did. Yeah, before going to uh, City Oilers. I, I, I believe he played for City Oilers. Yes. So, so, and the KIU Rangers. Namuongo Blazers. He has been all over the place. He's been all over the place and all over the teams. 
all over the teams. He also played for Eldonet. <laughs> played for Eldonet. Also played in Budapest. That's <laughs> I swear, that's the first Kenyan I've had was played in Budapest. He was played in Budapest. Muga with the big three. It is still not reflected on the score sheet. But uh, let's see. JMC Mwangi, I think he shuffled his feet. Yes, again. Both of them shuffled their feet. James Mwangi, formerly of Nairobi Aviation College, formerly of Cooperative Bank. And, and, and someone in the comments is asking, yeah. isn't Ariel Carl on the doctor's strike? <laughs> the no. only doctor who is still working. Yes, I guess he's the only doctor who is still operating. Him and the doctors for KPA were working overtime last week uh, to bandage up the players. Golf with the transition three, he misses it. JMC with the big rebound. Eight or five left, scores are 67. 51. That was a foul on Frank Mujas. Which it was a foul. That, that one foul. I agree with. Garang Ding. Scores of 67 51. What was he thinking uh, directing Garang to go to his right? Um, I don't know. I don't know. So you ask, was he really thinking? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that is what, that is what we call thinking, thinking. Uh, let's blame the coach. Hey. We, said, we, we, we always blame the coach. We, we always blame the coach. <laughs> oh man, we have so much of fun here in the studio. Big shout out to Shaori Moyo boys, cheering on the Nairobi City Thunder. So, you know, Thunder was and is a Shaori Moyo team. It is a Shaori Moyo team. People don't know that, some people don't know that. Before it was Thunder, it was ICC. It was ICC. Lennox. No, that was Muga. JMC with the rebound. Garang Ding pushing it up. Going to his left. He has made six dribbles with his left. Struggling, he's going back to his left. <laughs> Ariel, Struggling with his right, with his left. Ariel Okal with the move. Ariel Okal. <laughs> Ariel Okal. Ariel Okal. Oh my god. That had gone in, and the house was going to JMC of Cooperative. That would have been a reverse dunk. But, but it's not the JMC of Cooperative. Now it has caught up. Uh, Muga, Frank Bridges with a big rebound. He was blocked by JMC. And the big list. <laughs> oh what a game. And as you say, what this a is, time to be alive. This is good for Kenyan basketball. We are going to put the moves. And this was the material. All the oh. Sauron fans were up, but he missed. If that went in, I swear the, the Sauron fans Shauri, Shauri will Moyo jump, in the will court. jump in the court. Lennox with the three. Oh, missed he misses badly. I, I'm reminded of the. Look at Garang, look at Garang go. Look at Garang finishing. He has such long strides. Listen, that guy. Making it look like very easy. What are you going to do? The battle. Did you see the long strike that he had? <laughs> he took such long strides. Who am I saying? Anaruka Dimimba. Hey, hey Gerard. Do you know that Gerard Dim was born and raised in Eldoret? I don't know that. He was. Seriously. Born and raised in Eldoret. Go ever who am I? Gerard Kipchumba Dim. Kipchumba. <laughs> or Kip Korir. Ama. Whichever the Ama. case may be. Kip Ding. Keep ding. Keep ding. Garam, keep ding. Garam, Garam, keep ding. Shout out to Garam. Hell of a player. Uh, amazing to see how he has transitioned from start mode to playing at this big level. Yeah. And you know, there was a very uh, interesting conversation in one of the WhatsApp groups today. Uh, some people are saying that South Sudanese players, especially the young players who are playing in our high school games, are not supposed to be playing because they are international players. Others feel like the age factor uh, might be an issue. But most of these players are born and raised in Kenya. So as Kenyans, why can't we just neutralize these players, make them Kenyans, give them citizenship, and make them our own players? Um, so just a quick response. Some of them, they don't want to become Kenyans. 
Yeah, they are proud of their uh, motherland. South Sudan has come a long way. Big shout out to Kinaru and all they are doing to try to um, bring stability and peace to the sports yes. back to the land. So some of them are very proud to be of their nationality, right? And then the second thing is there are measures that are in place. Now you see, if they have uh, the right documentation, yeah. right now uh, the rule states. Elio Khan! Elio Khan has scored the, the last 12 points. The last 12 points for uh, Let me Kandu. tell you, Okal has KPS number. And he's calling the number. So, I was saying, you see, like, even uh, right now, there are protocols in place. For example, uh, you cannot play two international players at the same time on the court. So if there are five players in ice games, you can only play two international players at a goal. So there are such protocols. But now the question is, should we cut it off completely? Or does it, is it helping our game to grow? I think uh, Coach Ebonson today had a very good argument on that, I think. So maybe that's something that we need to talk about on our next podcast. We need to talk about we, that. We, we need to specifically now that we have the international games that have been concluded and every single team in the top six teams, nationals, they all had South Sudanese players. Yes. Many of them. I, so I would it's love something I would that love I feel like we need to address as well as well. I would love to see Garang playing for so, our, uh, national team. our national team. I would love to see that. Anyway, scores are 73-51, favor Nairobi City Thunder. This looks like it's going the same way the first leg went. Yeah, 5.31 to play. Do you think KPA is coming back? <laughs> Unless they import players from the NBA. They can import from... Awesome to see the big Mayotte in the building coming back to watch the game. And we all know that all you went through. Yeah, shout, shout out to, to uh, Mayotte. It is awesome to see you back. Um, our hopes and prayers are to see you back on the court playing. That we know you will have made a full recovery. So big shout out to all my team. Scores are 51-73. Almost hitting 100 likes. Guys, please like, 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 like. Like, subscribe, like twice, like thrice. Log in with your neighbor's phone and like. If you don't have bundles, we will buy for you bundles. And that's a, what we call a very good turnover. <laughs> a very good turnover. Yeah, a good turnover from Toby. It was spectacular. <laughs> spectacular turnover. It was a turnover with class. With class. <laughs> yeah, Bima attacking the space, out to Garanding, Garanding attacking. And, just the drop. and they are making it look so easy. Man, listen, you know, in high school, back in when I was in high school, we were taught how to uh, dissect the soccer. I think the appeal is the soccer. Aerial call, man. Aerial call is getting heavy minutes today and is proving why. So, I was taught how to dissect the soccer. I think today here at KP is a grasshopper and I'm the student. I mean, Tanda is the student because they are uh, dissecting KP. In and out, Salim. The rim. Basketball gods sitting on that rim. Uh, let me tell you, there's somebody today, there's, there's some basketball god at the who was not paid. <laughs> was that rim today? <laughs> Maybe, might be a bitter girlfriend. It could be. Or an ex who was played. <laughs> misses everything. This must be Mateo. Out to Garang Ding. Garang back to this must. At what point do you think it's a good time for Coach Brad to empty his bench? Right now. Just to see Kina. Right now. Larry Savanga and Kina. A long play. I want to see Larry in. I want to see Abot Abot. Hell of a player. 
I would love to see all those players coming well, in. We, we, we draw Byron turning over the ball like he, he just did, throwing the pass in between his team of legs. Uh, they can as well empty the bench. They can empty the bench. Coach Brad, please clear the bench. We're hoping to see one crazy dunk by Lani Shavanga before the game is over. He's not warmed up. Lani Shavanga doesn't need to warm up. Doesn't need to warm up. That boy has crazy flight. Lani Shavanga, we need you inside the game. Ken Washira has had uh, quality minutes. Quality minutes, but I feel that his usage vis a vis his efficiency have not added up. He has taken his percentage, uh, I don't think, uh, to respect his minutes. Garang Ding has the shot deflected by Salim Kisilu, and they have nine seconds on the clock. 3.14 to play. Time Those to are 51, clear the benches. Favor Nairobi City Thunder. Uh, I think uh, it's a gone case. This is a done deal. KP, done deal. KP uh, they need to figure out. And at this point, I believe that Nairobi City Thunder will finish the regular season unbeaten. Unbeaten. Because I don't see the U beating them tomorrow. <laughs> Unless they all sleep in a bar and come here straight from the bar. Even if they do that, they will still win. Harry O'Call told us to put up a Sayabia. Harry O'Call getting that round of applause. Standing ovation for Harry O'Call. He has had a big game today. A good game Even here, yeah. the uh, Nations, we can see down there, Coach Kari Odiambo giving him an applause for the big game that he's had. He literally kept them in the game and sustained the run. Shout out to Eri Okal. Big up, Dr. and Beast, or whichever, as far as he came to play today. Hey, also, Roba, yeah. I want to give a big shout out to the social media admins of. We leave the Thunder and KP. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Social those, media guys are, <laughs> those guys are doing an amazing job. Those are me. KPA. And Nairobi City Thunder. And Nairobi City Thunder. Your, your Facebook admins will shout out to you guys. It's lit. Big up. You are uh, making this game grow. That's what we want to see. That is what we want to Today, see. Today, Ulinzi was not playing, but they were contributing to the banter. Yes. Big up. Yes. And they also, they also encouraged us to come and watch the game. You know, as in... Listen, this is a good time to be a fan of Kenyan basketball. Very, very good time. It doesn't matter some people they are throwing trash on the league, but still they are posting the fixtures. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy when I see all that going on. Larry Shabanga is in. Larry Shabanga is in the game. Please just get a fast break He's and give game. us a throwdown. Larry Shabanga. Abot, Abot. <laughs> Abot Abot is in the game. Hazel Lagina was the foul on Salim Kisilu. Abot Abot is going to get easy baskets. Oh, okay, so she reversed the call said that it was a short clock violation. Larry Shavanga and Abot Abot, the cleanest men in this game. So far, their jerseys. Their jerseys are very clean. Salim with a huge three, cutting the lead down to 30. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is 23. Even the player was saying, "The pull up, the pull up." What a big three by Salim Kisilu! And then it is done. Fahim Juma. Fahim Juma. Also getting around. Fahim Juma. Man, Tanda have a huge fan base, and not just local. <coughs> Larry Shavanga off the bench with the with the kick. Man, Larry Shavanga. This is what we love to see. This is a three on three specialist. He gets the friendly bounce. And he gets the, the, the friendly roll. And he gets the lead down to 22. <laughs> oh! Uh, this must be Mateo. Larry Shavanga. Oh! Larry Shavanga! Larry Shavanga! Quick five points! Listen, this Thunder team, you need to play them for 40 minutes. 
Because even the people who come off the bench are still going good. to touch you. Hey, listen, the people who come off the bench, they are starters in other teams. That's how good they are. <laughs> Larry Shabanga came ready to play. He was like, Coach. Might be just two minutes. So he was telling Coach, just give me my two minutes. Just give me my two minutes. And I'll show I'll you. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Larry Shabanga. Crazy. Shout out to Larry Shabanga. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think the ball was too much. The whole crowd was at the spit of a dunk. But the ball was too much further in front of him. Larry Shavanga came to give us a Listen, if you would have done that, the whole gym, I think the roof. That would have brought the house down. It would have brought the house As down. As it is, already we are struggling with a leaky roof. Larry Shavanga would have made it a poor roof. <laughs> it would have been our uh, outdoor arena. It did. <laughs> he would have turned it into an outdoor arena. <laughs> I want doubt. to see a Larry Shavanga dunk before the end of this Me game. Me too, but, but I highly doubt that we'll get it unless he pulls one like he did on, on uh, Daryl uh, <laughs> in practice. Look at Toby! No, uh, listen, listen, he plays with the KPA Dockers, so they are... He's diving! Yes, so they are uh, Navy men, so he's a natural <laughs> diver. <laughs> uh, that's a natural instinct. What a game! Uh, and what a game, game, what a game from both teams! 57 82. Big shout out to the KPA Dockers. Um, Big shout out to the Dockers. Um, the second game, same result, they still lost by 20 something points. Anyway, so from us to the studio, a big shout out, thank you. Thank you to everyone who has been following us on our live. Mr. Teddy Sana to all those who have supported us. To Shukuru Sana. So stay tuned for the post match. Post match coming in a day or two. Complete highlights and everything just to as we break down and as we discuss issues after the game and the basketball. Right, so for us in the studio, it's a big thank you and good night. Have fun, be safe, and enjoy basketball.